What's up, Baller Nation? Augie Johnson here with BallerBootCamp.com. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about the retreat dribble. I'm gonna give you four counters you can do off of the retreat dribble, and I'm gonna give you guys a drill. So stick around for the entire video, soak up all this knowledge, and let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so what is the retreat dribble? Let me just show you guys real quick, slow motion, what the retreat dribble is. It's when you attack, and then you stop by planting on that inside foot and you retreat back like this. Okay, that is the retreat dribble. So let's go ahead and break down exactly how to do that the correct way. Okay, so I know it's just me out here, but you have to imagine I have a defender on me. If I beat him to the right or to the left, doesn't matter, okay? So let's say I beat him this way, okay? He's still on me. Now the, the important part is that I stop with the correct foot. Okay, I wanna make sure I stop here to have my defender be here and I have protection. The ball is here in my right hand. Another mistake players make when we try to teach this to them is they keep that ball in the wrong hand, in their left hand when they're stepping back. We wanna keep that ball in our right hand, we're protected here. And now we're gonna basically be doing the technique as like an in and out. Okay, the reason we're doing like an in and out is so that we can pull that ball backwards. Okay, so I'm stop here, I'm pulling with these in and outs. Okay, as you can see slowly, in and out. And basically almost like a defensive slide, I'm pushing and retreating back. Okay, so one more time, I'm here, in and out. And as you can see, I'm using this offhand as a protection, as a way to visualize my defender here. And if he tries to reach, I can hit that hand down. If he tries to rush me, I can hold him off here and keep that ball protected. That's a really good position to be against a defender when they're all over you, okay? It's here, and now we're looking to make a pass, okay? So let's go ahead now and talk a little bit about what you're gonna be doing after the retreat because there's counters that we're gonna get into. And I'll show you guys a drill as well here in a second to work on this. So let's go ahead and get into that part. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys four little counters that you guys can do out of this retreat dribble to change directions on your defender. A lot of times what happens when I retreat, they come with me and they rush me. Now they're like almost like in a closeout situation. They're coming at me. So if I can change directions and change speeds and get my weight going forward, then I can usually blow by them if they're not doing a good job on defense. So anyways, so this first counter is with the crossover. So I drive in here, I'm in my retreat now. And now the important thing is I wanna drop this foot and I wanna switch my feet so that I'm into my blow by stance with pushing off this right foot, ball and left hand, like I always talk about in all my videos is this blow by stance going the other direction, okay? So that's the tricky part is with the feet switch. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys in slow motion real quick and you guys can get the idea. I'm retreating, boom, I'm dropping this foot, boom, and then switching my feet, okay? You can probably see that one more time. I'm here, dropping to go away from the defense, okay? Drop and here, one, two, pushing off and going by. So let's go ahead and take a look at that full speed. Okay, so the next counter is with through the legs. Okay, so same thing. We're gonna retreat, one, two. Now we're basically already in that blow by stance. So all I'm gonna do is go through the legs from here and push off this back foot. One more time, I'm back here, and I've already pushed off that back foot. I'm taking my cross step, and I'm going by the defense. Let's take a look at that full speed. Next counter is with the hip swivel, off my retreat, I'm here, I'm here, now I'm gonna go from sideways to my defender and I'm gonna face up on him, I'm gonna move this foot to the back, okay, so I'm back, I'm back, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna push off and beat him this way, this time we're not crossing over, okay, so we're here, 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 and going by this side, okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at that one, full speed. going to retreat dribble into an Iverson cross. So I want you to think of this as like the counter to that hip swivel move. Okay, so I'm back, I'm back, and normally when I went hip swivel, I was pound here, push and go. Now I'm pound here, push and cross. Okay, so here we go. Pound, push and cross to go by. Okay, it's a little bit different than the other kind of drop 
drop step crossover that we did earlier. This is a good one to actually shift the defender, especially if they're coming at you. And I attack here and then cross over. So make sure you don't carry on this and let's take a look at this one full speed. Okay, so for the drill to work on this, we're gonna start on the top. We're gonna attack one elbow, okay? You can attack with any move you want. You can use triple threat, work on your jabs, rip throughs, whatever. But we're gonna get to this elbow and we're gonna slam the ball and retreat dribble. Okay, we're gonna retreat dribble back at an angle to the top. Now from the top, we're gonna go ahead and do one of the counters, okay? We're gonna go through the legs. We're gonna do a crossover. We're gonna do a drop step cross. And one of the ones that I just showed you, and we're gonna counter it in the other way. So for the hip swivel one, you're only attacking in one direction. So go ahead, attack one elbow, come back, retreat, hip swivel right back to that same elbow. You're gonna do five on one side, five on the other. For all the other ones, you can just do 10, and that's 40 total reps of this drill. Let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick, full speed. <laughs> All right guys, I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, hit that like button for me. Let me know you liked it. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what other kind of videos you wanna see. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. But most importantly, head over to ballerbootcamp.com. Head over there, I got a free workout for you that you can download, print out, and take to the gym to improve your shooting, improve your ball handling. There's links on the screen right now, so go ahead, click one of those links right now, and I'll see you guys in the next video.